coming at you with another F12 video. It's like we're non-stop with these boys. With the never-ending changes on the F12, we got something major today that I'm stoked to try out. If you've been following along with the F12 videos, like I said, we've had never-ending changes lately, especially on the CVT setup. I'll show you what our current setup is here once I take off the cover case on the F12 but we've changed it from a Melosi Multivar variator to a stage six variator recently, and we're gonna be changing that again today. So let's go ahead and pop off the CVT cover, and then I'll show you guys what we're working with. All right. So currently, we have a stage six clutch. We got the orange springs in there. We got a Melosi wing bell. We have an NCY adjustable rear pulley. We have a Melosi belt. We got really nice fitment going on from last time I messed with it. Can't really see that well. But the belt's sitting a little bit higher than the rear pulley. And we're almost getting completely, completely full travel out of the front variator. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and change all of this up today. Because boys, we have nothing other than a J Costa Pro Variator Clutch Kit. Now this thing looks very interesting. This is the one that Screw Swaps have just tried out in their most recent video. Here we got what looks to be the clutch part of it, and of course the variator part of it. Huh? Yes, my Embry. Thank you. Hey yo, what type of wad is that? That's right boys, this video is sponsored by no one other than Simply Carbon Fiber. Just in time for the holidays, Simply Carbon Fiber is doing a holiday sale, a Black Friday sale, with items up to 70% off. You guys need to go check out the website. I've had a few of their accessories myself. I love the phone cases, and I especially love what is here, my favorite thing ever, the Carbon Fiber Wallet. Simply Carbon Fiber makes this sweet card holder money clip wallet, which is by far my favorite product. It's a very aesthetic piece, it's very modernized, it's very useful. Your card's in the first slot, money in the back with a nice thumb slot right here to easily access your card. You push them out, you can filter through all the cards, but you see it there, and then on the back we got our money clip. It holds a decent amount of cash in there. It's very easy to access. It's very stiff. You can fit a lot in there. It's, it's durable. It's carbon fiber, boys. You can't go wrong with that. And this is probably one of those things that I almost always get complimented on or asked about. Every time I pull out my wallet, when I go somewhere to buy something, someone's always curious on what this is. Anything from watches to sunglasses, from wallets to phone cases, Simply Carbon Fiber does it all, and they do it without compromising any quality to make it look so good. Thank you Simply Carbon Fiber again for sponsoring today's video. Link in the description down below. Perfect time for the holidays. Do not miss out on this offer. They have these crazy like bullet looking rollers, and it's just, it's a, uh, kind of nuts looking boys. So I don't know what we're getting into, but we're gonna pull everything out of my CVT setup, and we're gonna try this bad boy out. So I'm very interested on how this is gonna be. Really, Chief? Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, link in description. Link in description. Link in description, mandatory. So here's our clutch. It's kinda crazy, it has like these little copper bullets. I don't even know how I'd take this out. Let's see if we can take one of these out. Which I believe are weighted, obviously, right? But I don't see any other additional ones to replace it with. It looks like we only have the roller ones, so I'm assuming we're just gonna try these ones that are in here. Kinda crazy how the, the clutch, these will fly out and make contact with this clutch plate. It's very interesting how that's gonna work, so uh, very curious to see how that is, but we're basically gonna take mine apart now, throw this bad boy on there, and it's gonna be a pain to put this on because we're gonna have to put it on with the clutch bell. All in one. Very interesting. Forgot to weigh these. I wanted to weigh the clutch with everything in it before I put these in, but I totally spaced it. So I believe all these are 14 grams. I just want to make sure. From just the feel of it, this clutch bell feels a lot lighter, obviously, than this huge clutch bell, right? This one's heavy. So clutch bell wise, this clutch bell, it won't even weigh this thing. It's too heavy for this little, little scale. But this one is uh, 188 grams. With all these grams, 14 grams, it's kind of a lot right here. I mean, that's like 190 grams right there. But the clutch belt itself, kind of light. I mean, but the clutch itself is kind of light. So now we just kind of throw all these bad boys in here. I don't know if they go in a certain way. I don't believe so. Clutch belt. So the reason you have to run the clutch belt on it when you put it on is because all of them will fall out. So they kind of like... Very interesting how they make contact. Like you're gonna be able to see all those. It's gonna be very interesting, so. Let's 
So I noticed that the belt, the boss is like really wide on this one. The belt sits way in there. Alright, we're going to try it with my other boss from my stage 6 one. It's a lot shorter, but I don't think it was going to like that one. That one seemed a little too long. My ramp plate barely fit on. Sounds insane. All right, so I put the clutch on and the bell. I'm not liking this at all because it's engaging literally instantly. I put these spacers in between the clutch bell and the actual pulley now, and it's still engaging way too early. So uh, I'm not liking it. So we're going to go ahead and try just the variator, put my old stage 6 clutch back in with everything in the stage 6 clutch. I also think I'm going to add the other weights to my stage 6 clutch, um, throw the other weights in because I only put two in, throw all of them in and then it just should have a really strong fling out. So. stalls instantly because there's no stall in the clutch so the bike's instantly under load so it's just stalling there's no yeah it's, it's ass. ass I don't know how I might be doing it wrong the Jay Costa Kusta whatever I don't know if I'm missing something I don't know if those brass weights need to be a different weight or what it is I can't get that thing to um, engage right it doesn't have no stall <clears throat> I even put a bunch of washers between <clears throat> the pulley and the bell itself thinking that maybe the rollers will come out farther before they engage or something but that didn't help either so oh oh it's revving way too much i'll try the heavier ones and see it's unrideable <laughs> unrideable unrideable I need to go get the other ones. Alright, we'll get this pulley one more time. So all I had got with my kit was a 32-gram uh, bag of weights and a 42-gram bag of weights. We were just riding the 42 and they were way too light. I just put the 50 ones in. We'll see. Um, I don't know. It kind of felt a little crazy. So it didn't feel like it, like shifted right i'm not trying to dog this kit maybe i'm missing a bunch of pieces maybe i just don't have the right setup for it um but so far i'm not a fan the clutch was really weird it did ha i could not figure out how to get it to make stall you would think that the farther you put the clutch bell away that was where your stall would be because it only makes contact you know a normal clutch bell makes contact with the outer side and your clutch shoes open up hit the clutch bell which hits the, sp the splines on your actual wheel drive shaft to your gear which actually spins your wheel right so here's your wheel technically on the clutch bell and that's when it would engage and turn your wheel this one would only engage and actually have the splines to turn your wheel when these brass things hit it well right when i had revved the blast things would the brass things would already be flying out because they're like at a slant so it was just automatically engaging every single time now the only thing i could think that would do that is be able to slow down the way the brass things come out but would that be heavier they just fall out so easy i have it zip tied together right now but you can hear it they're like so loose in there so I tried running a bunch of washers in between the clutch bell and here, so maybe the, the actual brass things have to fall out further before they make contact with the clutch bell. That didn't help either. So I couldn't figure out how to make it have stall. I looked up a few things on it. That's pretty much the only options you have was to run the washers there. Um, I don't know, maybe someone else knows, but uh, wasn't a fan of the clutch. So we tried just the variator. That's what we're trying right now. 50 grams, which is crazy sounding, but it is a really light variator. It's not like cast, it's like, I don't even know what material it would be, but it's super light. <laughs> Still a little too much rev. It's not bad, it's pretty, okay, so like, 
I don't know if this is where the slope comes into play on the variator or if it's the actual weights of the what's in the variator but like mid-range it dropped RPM a little bit and had a really nice shift into it and it kept rolling but it definitely was not as fast as my stage 6 setup now if I had more tuna ability with that uh, see right there it loses power and then it shifts so a lot of setup See, that's where a lot of things like my Contra comes to play too. This Contra could be a really stiff Contra for this type of variator, how this thing likes to shift. So, so it's a good hitter, and then it dies out, and then it picks back up right there. It has like a dead spot in it. I feel like if I had a little bit heavier rollers, this thing would uh, actually feel a lot better, but I don't. So I guess we don't get to tr truly try out the Jay Costa kit. I uh, added one more uh, shim. So now my belt's sitting literally perfect on the rear pulley. And I down the weights by one and a half grams back to the stage six variator. So put in the stage six variator. We were riding the other night on or last night on the ride out. I feel like I could have went a little bit lighter on the rollers because I wasn't getting so much rev out of the bike. Um, so I lightened the rollers one and a half grams. We'll see how it hits now. It's that simple. Oh yeah, this variator hits. Yeah, now it's feeling good. Now we're at 28 and a half grams, I want to say, total weight. What's wrong? So stupid. Oh, really? Eleven three, but I really don't know if that was before or last time, so reset it. Bye bye. That was like 65, 70, more like 70 probably because 65 would be like that mark there. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's 70. Let's see what we rev to, 11, two. Really, by that car? I know. That's gonna do it for the F12 video today. Sadly, we didn't like the J Costa as much as I thought I would. Um, maybe due just to not being able to tune it as it should be tuned. I would need a lot more to do with the variator on weights wise. Clutch, I really just don't understand. I just, it, I just don't see how you would be able to make it work for my application. I just couldn't get the stall to work. Went back to the stage six light in the rollers and the F12 is really dialed right now. So I'm stoked with that. I don't know what we should do next to the F12. We literally just ran through everything now and it's a dialed bike, but there's always room for improvement. So let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see us do with the F12. That's gonna do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.